Welcome back, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Tiffany. We do a lot of Green Lantern on this channel for some reason, and I really, for the life of me, don't understand why. I'm not... I feel like the, you're a Green Lantern fan. I'm not the world's biggest <laughs> Green Lantern fan. That much is evident by every episode of Green Lantern we've ever done. It's like a power battery. We do have here. an entire power battery, right. but I got that probably after the third episode of Green Lantern we did, and I'm like, mm -hmm. we have no signs of stopping. For some reason, we're just big into Green Lantern over here. Mm -hmm. I don't know, he does pretty well, but uh, we're going to talk about my least favorite Green Lantern of all time. In a book called Guy Gardner Reborn. Oh. Mm. This is a book all about Guy Gardner. Great. Cool. I <laughs> have not, if I haven't already made it abundantly clear, I hate Guy Gardner. Mm. I think he sucks, and I think he's a tryhard. And we I haven't think, done much with him. No, but he, he's in a lot of books we've done. Yeah, he shows up. What is going on? Well. With this cover. It's uh, a little bit of a joke. Is it? A little? Yes. Uh, this is a mini series which is written by Gerard Jones with art by Joe Staten. It is a weird joke and also integral to Guy Gardner's continuity. When we've done stories with Guy Gardner in them, either he's a Green Lantern mm -hmm. or he's Guy Gardner. Mm -hmm. Either way, he's Guy Gardner, but when he's Guy Gardner and not Green Lantern, he's wielding a yellow Sinestro ring, mm. a Quardian power ring, if you will. Sure. Oh. And the story of how he got that ring has been kind of lost to time <laughs> or this three issue miniseries, which explains where he gets the ring. Mm. In the interim period, when he wasn't quite a Green Lantern and he wasn't quite an alien possessed with a living costume called the Warrior, we yes. get like the period when he's Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner is an insufferable douche nozzle who is constantly. <laughs> Like, throwing his weight around. Mm. And when you get to know Guy Gardner, I guess maybe you could find sympathy for him. Because the guy grew up in Baltimore to, you know, an abusive alcoholic father. And, you know, he constantly had, like, a hard time and mm. a chip on his shoulder. And he's, like, he had a brother who was a cop who gave him a hard time. And everyone else kind of, like, idolized his brother over him. And it turns mm. out his brother was also a dirty cop in the first place. So, like, oh, they geez. had no reason to worship him anyway. Yeah. But the brother put him on the straight and narrow. And Guy has, like, a couple of degrees. And he's actually, like, pretty learned. Oh. Wait, really? Yeah. Degrees in what? Beltology. Oh. <laughs> I think that's, that, I think in this particular case, that's an honorary degree. Oh, okay. You get that when you, when you exceed the maximum allotment of belts one could wear <laughs> yeah. without being has, encumbered. I assume he has a master's in bowl cuts. Uh, I certainly, I think he, yeah. he certainly has a doctorate in that. <laughs> uh, they, re they make references to him wearing the bowl cut and how, like, horrible it is. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they insisted on letting him keep it. Maybe because it's a signature hairstyle. But yeah, in any oh, event, know he cuts it, it himself. <laughs> yeah, I bet he does. Bull <laughs> nailed it. Yeah. When he had the Green Lantern ring, even easier. Right. <laughs> I used the hard light construct <laughs> that, that was bestowed upon me by the oldest race in the world. To so, cut my hair. Yeah, to cut well, my own hair. The last time we saw a guard gardener, it was in Millennium, right? Batman yes. goes with him, and then Batman's like, you suck. You suck. Yeah. Guy Gardner was a Green Lantern, mm. and at that point was like all flowery and happy. And it's because Guy Gardner has kind of like a split personality problem. Oh. Wait, um, really? Yeah, he was like a hard-edged douchebag. And then Batman hit him in the face one time, and he hit his head, and he was out for hours. And when he woke up, like, every time you hit him in the head, he would switch from, like, douche to, like, beatnik. So I'm sure they did a comic where they what? were like, wait, we need the other one. Punch. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. We're yeah. like, it's just constantly giving him severe head trauma. But anyway, in Millennium, he was the... Kind-hearted Guy Gardner. Uh -huh. In this, it's the hard-edged Gardner, and yeah. it's also, and they're also kind of throwing that whole convention away. Right. Okay. Well, that's good. Agreed. Yeah, they should. So, Guy Gardner he's firing a gigantic machine gun on the cover of this book. He so uh, he is a badass. He has two two machine guns. Yeah. And he's he, got a no Green Lantern and a shirt. pistol in case. Oh, and a big thing on his back too. Like he is. Oh, he, there are so many guns. It's, so many it's every time I see a gun, I oh, see wait, another, another gun. gun. He's. Yeah. It, it's a straight-up joke. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Um, I would hope so. The the context for this is that, okay, so, like, Guy Gardner, why is he even a Green Lantern? If he sucks so much, why is he a Green Lantern? Turns out that Abin Sur, the bestower of the original Green Lantern to Hal Jordan, had intended for the ring to go to Hal Jordan, but in case Hal wasn't around, Guy Gardner was the second choice. 
Really? Yeah, the Guy Gardner's, like, will was so strong that he would be a good replacement for Hal Jordan. So then, Guy Gardner gets taken off the table. Mm -hmm. He winds up actually in the Phantom Zone. We're not going to talk about why. But then Jon Stewart was the replacement for the replacement. He's the backup for Hal Jordan. So when Hal Jordan was taken off the table, they're like, well, where's Guy Gardner? We picked Jon Stewart. Now Jon Stewart's the Green Lantern. Yeah. But then when Guy Gardner came back, they're like, oh, well, you're also a worthy, to... so you get a Green Lantern ring. And so it's three Green Lanterns from Earth. That's weird. That's way too many. And that's not the last of them. No. no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. But, like, also the Green Lantern Corps had been, like, depleted. And yeah. By, by this point, they had also repopulated the core. I was going to say, have they been wiped out yet at this point? They had been wiped. Well, there's, they, they, got, I mean, they keep getting time, wiped out. But, right? like, <laughs> the earlier time, not the parallax time. Not the parallax. The pre-parallax pre time. Yeah. They're, they're repopulating the Green Lantern Corps. A couple of the Guardians have returned mm. post-millennium. Oh. And so they have kind of like re-instituted Oa and the core. Uh, actually, Guy is in charge of recruiting a few Green Lanterns himself. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, because he's a good judge of character. Yeah, sure. exactly. No, and he is. You'll meet one of his recruits in a, in a little while. <laughs> At this point, Hal Jordan returns to Earth from parts unknown. And he's like, okay, Guy, like... Let's let's have the ring. And guy's like, I'm done being the backup Green Lantern. Let's have a fist fight in the streets of New York. And whoever wins the fight keeps the ring and calls the Owens and tells them they quit. So Hal kicks the shit out of Guy uh -huh. and then goes like, I know you're not going to quit because you're Guy Gardner. He's like, I'm a man of my word. Hey, Guardians, F you, I quit. And they're like, right on. Okay, done. And he's like, damn it. <laughs> So, I really thought they were going to beg me to stay. I, sh <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have. So Every at that point, person who quit their job ever in a fit of rage. Yep. Oh, you're just going to let me quit? What the hell? And unlike those characters, <laughs> Guy Gardner didn't like go back to Owen and go like, Hey, <laughs> what is Guy Gardner doing here? Oh, what that was a that joke. Here? That was a joke. You took uh, that seriously? You screamed at us and quit over the phone. Yeah. Yeah, the space phone. All kidding! It was April Fool's Day on Earth. Well, it ain't April Fool's Day here. <laughs> he is still pathetically wearing his Green Lantern oh, outfit, but no. Sans Ring trying to make a name for himself as like not Green Lantern Guy Gardner. And he's fighting Black Hand, who pre Blackest Night is a joke, and he basically gets his butt kicked, and then is greeted by a kindly prostitute who Guy takes out for a burger and contextualizes what his status quo is for this miniseries, which I have just done for you. Yes. Right. He also explains that uh, after he relinquished the power he ring... to the prostitute. That's right. Uh, he's explaining that after he relinquished the power ring to Hal Jordan, uh, he goes to Maxwell Lord, who is kind of like the liaison for the Justice League, and he's like, yeah, uh, you are a guy like me now. Uh huh. You don't have any power rings or anything. Well, so. neither does Batman. Batman's Batman. <laughs> yeah. so, He's got gadgets well, and well, money. Well, what about and a, training. What about That's, Green Arrow? Green Arrow has a gimmick. What's your He's gimmick besides bow and arrow. At least he has a weapon. I, yeah. I've got a vest. That is. I look like a Green Lantern. That's it. And even. I, I can trick he people doesn't for like even, a second into thinking I'm still Green Lantern. Right. Except that <laughs> his Green Lantern costume is the only one that isn't part of the uniform like his is a special outfit that he specifically liked to wear mm. the other green lanterns all wear like a, 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 a real uniform. real uniform yeah so anyway maxwell lord offers him the position of monitor duty he's like you can stuff it and then captain america ripoff general glory is like hey guy you can be my sidekick general glory yeah who the hell is that he's a captain america ripoff for the dc universe I'm no oh okay because they don't have one yeah we've so. seen him in millennium Oh. So... I wasn't here for money. He's offered the role of being sidekick. Guy Gardner <laughs> tells him to stuff it. Yeah, of course. Um, Ice. Is this all happening in the past? Yeah, still it's all talking flashbacks. To the all, he's still telling the prostitute. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ice offers to, like, you know, oh. make him feel good. And he's like, screw you. you what? You're, 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 you're a pity leg. Get out of here. And she's like, wow. Oh, what a jackass. Okay. Uh, but she still feels bad for him because she's a good person. Then he goes to the special island that is populated by the new Guardians established in Millennium. 
Are you kidding me? No. Why? Because they suck. And he's awesome. And this whole book is a joke. Yeah. So his so plan is he's going to whip the, the new Guardians into shape and basically out Justice League, the Justice League, with a bunch of nobodies. He's going to prove how awesome he is by taking a bunch of no-name, crappy characters that no one cared about after Millennium and turn them into an awesome team. Yeah. They all tell him to get fucked. <laughs> And so but you're he, terrible. You need me. Even Pie Face. I could legitimately help you. Especially Pie Face. <laughs> which is a racial slur. So. <laughs> but that's uh, what he's, well, that's not his real name. But. No, but that's what they call him in the books for an exceedingly long, uh, for, an, an, for an inexplicable and inappropriately say, long. An inexcusable. Yeah. Amount of time. Yes. Does, does Do they call him that here still? Or do they give no. him his actual name? Uh, they don't refer to him as anything. He's just, he's there. It's like they just didn't want to deal with it. They just didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> So he's, he's, there's multiple pages where he's talking about the time that he talked to the Guardians and tried to lead them. Yes. This is a very important... It is not. <laughs> it's just that Gloss has a very provocative outfit, which a guy uh, leers at, and she's the one who basically says, I don't want him here anymore. He's very creepy. And so they throw him in the water, and he goes away. And he goes away. So, so the so, prostitute's like, so are we going to bang, or... <laughs> oh, no. He doesn't have enough money for that. <laughs> She's like listening to his story. He mm -hmm. gets really agitated. He hits the table. The cops show up because like oh, he's he's making, he's, a ruckus. he's making a ruckus with his lame story that no one believes except for the prostitute. Uh -huh. And she's like, "Listen, give me a call when you got some money, and I'll show you a good time." <laughs> um, she mentions that why don't you just get a gimmick like guns? Listen, my man's always reading these comic books about this guy who fought in Vietnam and he lost his family and he's just full of guns. And he's like, <laughs> the guns are cowards' weapons. I don't use guns. And then when the cops show up, they're like, hey, listen, you get out of here. He's like, oh, more guns. Guns are, apparently guns are the answer. So then he goes and he gets like all the guns oh and he goes full God. Punisher. He has a Punisher suit up sequence. He does. Yeah. Where he this changes whole his whole outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he goes from Guy Gardner Green Lantern to The Gardener. <sighs> Okay, it's just, yeah. They're just, we what? want to write a book about how stupid we think why, Punisher is. Why isn't his name Guy Gunner? I agree. Oh. Well, because <laughs> there's no, yeah, he, because it would, there's no version of Guy Gardner where he can't not use his name. Okay. So, right. yeah. but Guy Gunner, at least then Guy's still there. I like that the outfit's almost the same. He has to have the boots. Yeah. Yep. The boots have pockets. He's really big into boots, and I have a feeling, I have a theory about the boots. Because he wears the boots as a Green Lantern, as the gardener and as Guy Gardner. And I think because the boots have lifts in them. <laughs> <laughs> He's so, also yeah. like, he has a cutoff shirt. He really does. Yeah, he wears yeah, they, they fa the equivalent of like a belly blouse or a tube top shirt. Yeah. Or a crop top? A crop top. A crop, crop top. top. Yeah. So he goes to fight the black hand again, but as the gardener. Yeah. And he basically gets his ass handed to him. Why does he just shoot Black Hand? Because Black Hand keeps getting out of the way. Oh. Uh, like these guns don't do anything. Yeah. Oh, you have to know how to shoot. Oh, my guns are broken. They're not just killing people. Well, also, Guy Gardner doesn't want to murder people. Right. Like, cause, because deep down inside, he's not a monster. Right. He's he just, not the Punisher. No. Or Who, the Gardner. Exactly. <laughs> Who's Goldface? Goldface <laughs> is a supervillain. Who has been imbued with power from radioactive gold? What? Why is their he... name Goldface? Is, I think you'll face... find out if you turn the page. <laughs> that's more than face. Yeah, that's like gold body. Yeah, like but that would be gold stupid. Man. Person. Gold person of gold. Goldface. El Dorado. <laughs> <laughs> All these are better names than Goldface. Goldface's powers are he has a gold gun that shoots gold, like liquid gold. Oh. He loves only gold. Goldface has, like, guys who have the... Periodic like, symbol. symbol on oh, on their jacket. That's awesome. Yeah. See, Goldface is themed. It's the yeah. Oscar. Goldface, <laughs> Goldface beats Guy. He at least has a theme going. Yeah. And he sticks to it. Yeah. Guy Gardner keeps switching it up. Yeah, that's And it's a little problem. bit... It's a little bit intellectual. Right. I you like to, that. Yeah. Aw. Oh, what? Aw. Oh. That's the chemical uh, symbol for gold. Oh. oh. No, aw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Guy fails to defeat Goldface. Oh, Jeez. he's also technically yellow, so he's really difficult to defeat against Green Lanterns. Oh, so he, normally he'd be a Green Lantern villain. He's not right now because Guy Gardner's not a Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. So 
Guy leaves, he throws the guns away, he gets picked up by a truck driver, he proceeds to tell the truck driver about his woes, uh, and then... I can't even beat bad guys without covered in guns! Yeah, Ugh. I can't even beat Goldface! That's... So the truck driver's listening to metal, a story. right? You shoot him, nothing happens, so the guns just weren't... You no. weren't really uh, suited. Actually, one time Goldface and I teamed up and we fought the Quardians, and we could have taken down the whole entire like race of people, and uh, man, I wish I'd kept some of their weapons. Man, like, in fact, the greatest weapon of all time they made was Sinestro's Ring. I should go to Quard and steal Sinestro's ring. Because that's like the one thing I know how to do is wield power rings that create hard-like constructs from my imagination. That's Son, true. You do know how to do are that. Are you high? Oh, no. That's when the, that's <laughs> how when are you going to get there? Well, he, that, he, one thing at a time. So once he says that, the truck driver's like, I get it. You're drunk. Get the hell out of my cab. And he throws him <laughs> on the side of the road. So he's like, okay. Okay. I've got it. I'm going to go to Quard. I'm going to take Sinestro's ring. And then I'll be awesome again. How do I get to Quard? Ooh, I fought a couple of Quardians and I left them stranded on a deserted planet. If they haven't died of starvation yet, <laughs> they'll tell me where to go. So I don't even need to go to Quard. I need to get to this planetoid, if you will. Which I and guess then is closer than Quard. I would assume. Well, it's in our universe. So. I just so, turned the page and I don't want to be on this couch anymore. Well, you that, that's how this works. You don't have a choice. That's right. You're here. Mm. You gotta so, see it through. <laughs> So okay, he's like, right? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that is when he is visited by Nort. What's a Nort? Nort is a dog man, not unlike Scooby Doo, <laughs> who Guy Gardner recruited to become a member of the Green Lantern Corps. Oh. So, so he's a Green Lantern. Yes. How, what, what form do I fill out to transfer off of this couch? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, all complaints must be submitted in writing. Thank you for calling. Dial information. What's so, his name, Gnort? Yeah, Gnort. Wow. I'm guessing the G is silent. Yeah. I, I pronounce it with a silence because I would assume so it is. is That's he like the poochie of... Ah. Of the Green Lantern Corps? Yeah. Definitely. You mean a Green Lantern whose sole purpose is that he looks stupid as fuck? <laughs> Yes, he's not only in the comic, he's definitely in the comic. There's no backs on that one. So, <laughs> Nort is like... Hey guy, what's going on, man? The guy is like, oh Christ. I need help from Nort. <laughs> so basically he So Nort just happened to visit him right after he got thrown out of that truck. Yes. <laughs> and so All right. Guy Gardner is like, listen. He tricks Nort into helping to make him a spaceship made out of hard light construct from North's ring. That looks like fire hydrants. No, course, but like it's theming. No, no, <laughs> it's not because Nord he's a dog man, not a dog from Earth. Uh, yeah, he, yeah. But he's but, like. But where where would he? He studied dogs from Earth, and listen. he likes what they like. <laughs> he likes to cut their chip. When when Nort makes Guy's fire hydrant spaceship, Guy rewards him with some playful scratches behind the ear. Yeah. So like. Y th trust me. Shouldn't the spaceship disappear as soon as Nort like stops focusing Absolutely on it? Absolutely, it doesn't. B also, does Guy know how to fly spaceships? Much less made up spaceships by dogmen? <laughs> like, are the wheels bones? <laughs> Do you have to relieve yourself to go faster? <laughs> if you wag the back of the ship, does it like it go through time? Like, what the hell is this? The we don't get into it. All that matters is Guy's like, sweet. It's a fire. It's a fire hydrant that has fire hydrant engines attached to it. Yeah. Well, how do you make a fire hydrant better? You have more, more, more fire, fire hydrants. hydrants. So, Guy yeah, Gardner. You can see the controls right there. They're not made of bones. I, I'm just saying that, like, <laughs> why? Why did you abandon the theme? Why did you stop at fire hydrants? Yeah. yeah. It shouldn't have been bones. It should have been like a bowl. Oh, right. You a know. giant bowl. A, yeah. Or a oh, newspaper. <laughs> or slippers that are like pedals. So. <laughs> Guy flies this ship and he's like, okay, I got to think this through. Now that I got this spaceship by accident, I'm going to go there. But wait a minute. If I go to Quard, I'm going to be dealing with the Quardians. And I at least had Goldface on my side. I need somebody who's going to help me defeat basically an army of weaponeers. Yeah. I know. I'll call the baddest motherfucker in the galaxy. So he crashes into a but bar. But he already talked to Nord. <laughs> so he crashes into a bar and he collects... 
Lobo. Lobo. Of so now course. Lobo's in the book because you didn't have enough of a try-hard badass. <laughs> we got to get Lobo into this goddamn thing. I mean, Lobo's unkillable, so that's not a bad ally. Oh, I agree, but he's also a douche. Yeah. Arguably a bigger one than Guy. Is right. it is it bad that I'm more excited now that Lobo's here? No, I'm because like, oh, anything to distract God. you from Guy Gardner. Well, at least yes. Lobo's interesting looking. He is interesting looking. Yeah. So, Guy and Lobo fight. But uh, Guy's also a crappy fighter because he's always been relying on the ring. Right. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, so he gets Lobo, his ass kicked. Yes, and then Lobo is like, what are you doing here? And Guy's like, listen, I want to hire you. Because Lobo's a bounty hunter. With or what? You couldn't even hire a prostitute. I know, but Lobo doesn't know that. <laughs> so Lobo's like, I'm interested, what do you got? And he's like, you and me are going to go to Quard, and we're going to kick their ass. And I want to hire you because I want revenge on the Quardians for, for shit they did to me. He's lying to them. Ah. And what I'll do is I'll pay you in like weapons from the Quardians or whatever. Right, you, know, you get like, a cut of whatever of the we're bounty right, but like, there. If Lobo's the key here to beating them up, why doesn't Lobo just do that yeah, by himself? He doesn't need like, oh wait, I, I'll just get those weapons on my own. I don't need you. Well, right, that's a great exactly. Idea. I guess I'll go do that. Right, and so, but, but Lobo has to be played up like an idiot because that's exactly what Lobo would do or should right. do in this case. Well, maybe Lobo doesn't know how to get there or he doesn't know anything about Quardians. He, he he must. So, <laughs> Guy and Lobo take a minute. Guy basically gives Lobo this spiel. Yeah, he, he explains who the Quardians are. And so Lobo's like, okay, I guess I'm in. And then Guy Gardner's like, cool. And uh, while we're here, could you teach me some moves? How to be a badass and kick ass? And Lobo's like, what? I made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> but Lobo's like, all right. So basically Lobo teaches Guy how to fight dirty. Right, okay. but he just kicks the crap out of him. He just beats so he the living guy shit in the out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Lobo beats the shit out of Guy, but teaches Guy how to be a badass. Uh, he sure. teaches him how to take a beating. Yes. yes. Which Guy is excellent at. That's like the two things he's good at, is taking a beating <laughs> and wielding power rings. Uh -huh. So All right. they're about to jump onto Lobo's interdimensional hog yeah. when Guy is like, ooh, it's going to be chilly in the cold vacuum of space. <laughs> Hey, uh, I can't breathe in space either. Oh no, either. that's not the problem. The problem is I'm going to be cold because I'm wearing a crop top. Can I have one of your leather jackets? So I can look like Guy Gardner again. Yes. Okay. Lobo's like, why in God's name would I give you one of my leather right? jackets? And he's like, because I don't want them to see me bleeding from the beating you gave me. And Lobo's like, okay. So then Lobo gives him a jacket and they get on the motorcycle and they leave. And the guy Gardner suffocates. No, he seconds. has like a thing on his face. Yeah, he it looks does. Looks like he in has, one panel. Yeah, he oh, has like a. Like, oh, and he puts a thing on. He did, yeah, like literally practically off panel, but he does have a thing on that like helps him breathe. But only there. Yeah, How does he when keep they his land, it's gone. Fucking like blood from boiling in the vacuum. <laughs> so, guy wears this jacket, and this is the jacket that guy will incorporate into his guy Gardner jacket. That you'll see in like the Death of Superman and stuff. Oh. Oh. It's an indestructible Lobo jacket. So what? Lobo and Guy arrive on the crappy planet with the two Quardians. They bump into them. They beat the crap out of them. Yeah. And they basically threaten to murder them if they don't help them. Sure. And the Quardians are left with a dilemma. Do we die here on this crappy planet or do we get executed by our own mm. people on our homeland for failing to do what we were supposed to do when we were in another book? Sure. And so they ultimately decide to do it. But in the interim... Lobo is like, we need to murder these guys because we're ultimate badasses and we kill people. And uh, Guy's like, no, we don't. Yeah, as soon as they tell us how to get there, we just kill them, We right? kill them, right? And Guy's like, no, we shouldn't what? do that. No. And Lobo's like, why? And Guy's like, because I want to kill them, like, slower and later, I uh, guess. Like, he's just trying uh -huh. to look. He's just, it's just an ever constant dick measuring contest. Yep. But yep. where Guy is definitely has a smaller dick than Lobo. <laughs> but he's trying to, like, he's trying to, like, all right, it's time for us to whip out our dicks and measure him. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But first, uh, I got I, I, I to gotta work out. And he's like, yeah, good idea. We should work out. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How am I going to get myself out of this one? Uh, <laughs> you know, I... Uh, what, I would do that, but like right now, I gotta go bang some chicks. Like, oh, good I idea! Do that first. Yeah, then, yeah. Like, totally. After that, then we'll do it. Yeah, good yeah. idea. Good idea. And then yeah. I gotta go like like kill some people and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah that's gotta, what somebody with a huge dick would do. Yeah, let's do it. And then I gotta buy a really fancy, expensive car. <laughs> so the Quardians like, okay, this is easily worse than being executed by our own people. Let's just do this. So they activate the wormhole on their little like hovercraft thingy, okay. and. Uh, they, they, they turn it on and they get sucked into the wormhole that's going to take them to the antimatter universe. 
This is when one of the Quardians is like, finally, death to the traitors, and like breaks out his Quardian lightning bolts, and he's going to kill them. And yeah. Lobo's like, screw you, and he throws him out of the wormhole in mid-transit, which takes him to like a dimension that's not unlike the nightmare dimension from Doctor Strange. It's exactly what that looks <laughs> like. It's, it's just like, like floating balls. Yeah, it's, just, it's just an infinite horror that, from which he will never escape. Nice. Has that Yikes. guy ever come back? No. They should bring that guy back. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so, yep. guy's like, why'd you do that, man? He's like, why? He's like, well, because I wanted to see him die, obviously. Yeah, but you're not going to see him die. You just see him know, floating I'm out just, there. I'm just saying. But he will die, though. Yeah. Look, at, look. I, I, am, I am chaotic evil. Yes. yes. So, I, I don't know. I just do things. Right. Yep. So, Lobo and Guy arrive. And with one of the Quardians. With one of the Quardians, as the Quardians are building a giant effigy statue that is in honor of their greatest leader, Sinestro. Who, of course, at this point in the story, is dead. Well, so is that thing. It looks like... They're putting the head on the torso. It's they're, just laying there like... Urgh. I know, they're building it. They're building it. <laughs> That's not how you build a statue. In any you case. Don't lay that looks like a statue that where they're honoring it's not a the fact that they're like, he's dead. This right. is what he looks like. Well, no. Dead. Because it's, it's like slumped. It's it's like, just, yeah, he looks, like he looks totally pathetic. wrapped. May they build a statue of me like that one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the ultimate dignity. <laughs> it's a statue of what happened to him after his head got cut off. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> they fight... The Quardians. The all Quardians. of them? Yeah, all of them. Well, because Lobo is invincible and a badass. Right. And Guy Gardner's pretending. And Guy so. Gardner has a jacket. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, And watch their weapons out. are lightning bolts that they hold in their hands. So, yes. how formidable are they? Yeah. So, they activate the head of the giant Sinestro effigy, and it, like, shoots fire because it's, like, impressive or whatever. And it, like, burns most of the Quardians, but not Lobo because he's awesome. Right. And the Quardians are also, like, Imagineers, and right. this was going in their theme park. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. guys, like, okay, we're wasting time. We got to go to, like, the, the, the Citadel to fight like the chief weaponeer and get like some answers about this get ring the I ring, want. Find the ring, yeah. Yeah. So there is a coup about to take place oh. when a guard is like, Master, there's two people who are gonna kill us. And so they blast in uh, and what they wind up bumping into is this like weird anti-war beatnik Quardian who, cause the idea is that like Quardians are all born with like a war mentality mm -hmm. yeah but there's like a fluke that is born every once in a while and this is like the the one born into every generation the one, there is one sissy quardian yes. who won't fight exactly <laughs> and lobo takes issue with that because lobo is a zarnian and he is the one zarnian who is like a murderous asshole whereas the rest of them were like peace loving oh and so this is like his antithesis yes why would so, he take Quartians. issue with that he's like oh his counterpart. yeah no but he's also gross and reminds him of the zarnians so he crushes his head and kills him oh, oh what yep because lol what does that have to do with anything it just happens in the book oh my god death That's... is random ethan yeah <laughs> <laughs> Love like is dead Lobo. and death yeah. is inglorious. So, <laughs> while so, so Lobo and Guy go and find. So it's a the, Lobo book, n only for this issue, right? So, <laughs> so yeah. like, well, that's got nothing to do with anything. That's like, like what happens in the Lobo book, right? Maybe, maybe this is a teachable moment for Guy Gardner. Yes, as, I as, guess. As frustrating as it is. Guy does go through a character arc throughout the story. Oh. In the beginning, he's like directionless and doesn't know what identity he wants to take. He also has like this little bit of like morality mm. and weakness within him, not unlike the yellow impurity that is within all the Green Lantern rings. Okay. So you know. So he's the, seeing like this Lobo guy yeah. is bad news. It's more no. No? No, he learns the opposite lesson, oh. which is that like Lobo is a badass and a baller and totally what? gets to bang all no, his No, that's not the lesson. So, uh, so Guy is like, yeah, no, that's... just killed that guy and he totally got away with it. Right, nobody... There was no consequences hard... whatsoever. Yeah, they're going to practically make him the joint of the Justice League. Why not? So then uh, they're, they're like, come on, tell us where the ring is. And the guy's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, when Sinestro okay. died, he didn't die here. And yeah, they're like, what? Oh. <laughs> guy's like, shit. That must mean that he's on Oa. You know, in that secret tomb where they keep dead Green Lanterns and stuff that we saw on an episode of Good, Bad, and Ugly yeah. in Green Lantern number zero. Yes. That's right, we did see it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So now Guy's like, okay, I've got to go to Oa and basically oh, fight the Green Lanterns. You're under arrest. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Lobo was the first one to be like, but 
not going to- Oh, well, we were supposed to come here. Where's the thing you were going to pay me with? And he's like, oh, uh, oh, no, it's actually over there. And so, basically, they threaten the leader of the Quardians and like, take us to Oa now. And he's like, I will take you to Oa if you promise not to kill me. And they're like, okay. And so he activates a teleportation machine and transports them and the entire Quardian army uh, to Oa to destroy the Guardians and overthrow Oa. Well, he just had that plan in his back pocket? Yeah, well, he's just, you can just do that at any time. Well, it, it's like the army of the Quardians are constantly assembled at all times. Right, and they didn't, they never thought about Quardians it. Quardians assemble. Yeah. yeah. He didn't even need to say it, they were already assembled. <laughs> so like, then... Oh, Oa, yeah, Oa. Hey, why don't we invade Oa, since we're talking about Oa. Well, they want to because they're the mortal enemies of the Owens. The Quardians oh. are like the opposite of the Owens. So anyway. they were going to do this anyway? That, that's always been their plan and hope. They it wasn't that they were going to go do that, it's just that like they took that opportunity. Mm. The Quardians invade Oa, and one of the Guardians <laughs> appears before them like the Great Oz, <laughs> and is like, everyone leave or you'll die. And they're like, screw you. So they shoot the hard-like construct of the Owen, yeah. and that hurts the real version of the Owen because they're not quite at full strength yet. The, and like, what? And they're like, damn it, they called our bluff. We can't win, we're gonna all gonna die. <laughs> so... Guy and Lobo and like help fight the Quardians and defend the Owens and in the commu in the commotion Guy tries to bail on Lobo yeah. but then Lobo's like hey where are you going you still owe me you still owe me so a handful of the newer recruit Green Lanterns which don't involve Nort go to the aid of Oa Guy uses that as an opportunity to get away from Lobo where he is collected by those Lanterns who are like, Guy, is this your fault? And he's yeah. like, kind of. Mm. You see, here's what happened. It's not not my fault. I was on Cord when they decided to invade, and I stowed away with them to contact you guys to warn you against the Quarry invasion. Are you kidding me? Uh, that's kind of what happened. And I have a secret weapon that I need to tell the Guardians in order uh. to defeat them. And they're like, no, you don't. And he's You're like, lying. no, I totally do. They're like, well, okay, then You're tell us. Do, and he's like, no, you got to send me to the Owens right now, the Guardians, the Guardians, so that I can tell them the secret plan. And they're like, why don't we just probe your mind and just get that information for ourselves? And he's like, you can't because you're crappy Green Lanterns. And I was a Green Lantern and I was one of the best ones. So uh, my, my mind my is trained. My is so strong, I can... Oh, it's not even that. It's oh. just like my mind is so trained against psychic attacks. Oh. Yeah, I wish it was just like my will is stronger than yours. Oh but, my god, just tell us. Yeah, and he's like, no, you gotta send me. So then they call Kilowog because he's outranking them and also effective in some way. So they call Kilowog and they're like, Kilowog, guy here says he has secret information to tell the Guardians to beat the Quardians. What, what are we gonna do? And he's like, guy, are you fucking with me? And guy's like, no, man, I'm on the level. And he's like, okay, well, guy... Guy helped the Guardians and the Green Lanterns. He's one of the best. Y you might as well vouch for him. Go for it. So then they send Guy to the Guardians. Uh -huh. And Guy's like, man, I feel bad. I had to lie to Kilowog. He's cool. He's good people. <laughs> and so Guy goes into the Citadel and he goes through like the barracks and it's like, you know, it, it sucks. Because uh -huh. there's like not a lot of people. And, yeah. You know. Well, so, they were all outside fighting. Exactly. They, they were clearly in the middle of eating. There's like right. dishes and stuff everywhere. And they had to like get up and, and run laundry. outside. And their laundry. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what? I know. It's just... It's, it's bizarre. So... It's just showing the rush in which they fled to go to fight. Exactly. Outside. Exactly. It's an emergency. Yeah. So Guy goes into the crypt. Yeah. The thing he came here for. Yeah. Jon Stewart shows up and he rescues one of the lanterns. And the lantern's like, oh, uh, we sent Guy Gardner to the... Gu and Jon's like... What? Why would you do Why that? You, he's a freaking idiot and a liar. There's no way. The Kilowog spoke for him. I'm going to deal with it. So then Jon Stewart <laughs> well, goes on, to like punch Guy Gardner in the face. Yep. Guy ends up in the crypt and he's like, awesome. I didn't even know this place existed. So then he finds Sinestro and sure enough, the ring is on Sinestro's hand. And that's when he it finds like out. Oversight. Yeah, why would they leave that on his hand? Because it, we're, 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 this is the safest place in the galaxy. We're on Oa. It's the center yeah, of the but universe. Any of the, he, he was a Green Lantern, right? Yeah. And you're on a planet filled with Green Lanterns. Like, any one of them could make the same decision he made. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, I could take this fear ring. Right, but, like, if I chose you as a Green Lantern, you're obviously worthy of it, and most Green Lanterns so don't quit. Wasn't. That's true. <laughs> I'm just saying it happened once. Actually, it could happen again. It's happened Maybe a couple should, like, of times. Destroy now. that ring. <laughs> yeah, or no, get rid of it. I agree. <laughs> as we've established on previous episodes, the Guardians are dumb. They are dumb. <laughs> yep. So. 
Guy is like, okay, time for me to take the ring. Oh wait, he's encased in like crystal that oh. goes all the way through. I'm not gonna be able to break this open. I gotta figure it out. That's when John Stewart shows up and he's like, guy, what in God's name is your problem? And then he's like, oh my God, you're here to steal Sinestro's ring. You'll never get it because I'm gonna beat the living crap out uh -huh. of you. And then uh, John Stewart is just suddenly attacked out of nowhere. And it turns out, you see, that uh, John Stewart is susceptible to possession by Sinestro's soul. Why? Because it's been what? possessed before by Sinestro. And so being in, pro in close proximity to Sinestro's dead body, Sinestro's soul inhabits John Stewart's body. And then John Stewart battles with Guy because like, now that I'm in John's body, I can grab the ring. I'll be Sinestro again, or at least a cooler, blacker version of him. And then I'll wield the ring and I'll be unstoppable. So he shatters the body casket of Sinestro to take the ring. And so Guy has to then grapple for control over Sinestro's ring against the possessed by Sinestro body of Jon Stewart. And ultimately, uh, Guy gets it first. How could he win? Jon Stewart has a fucking power ring. Because he's reaching for it and he's not using the ring, the, 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 the Green Lantern ring to Why do it. Why doesn't he use the Green Lantern ring to like punch him in the face? Right. Uh, well, because when he smashes the casket, uh, he shatters crystal everywhere, and some of that crystal is like embedded in Guy's arm and his face and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but why doesn't Jon Stewart use the Green Lantern? Yeah, why does he just punch it with a giant green fist? Right, great question. So then <laughs> Guy then gets possession of Sinestro's ring. It, it, they're, they're kind of like grappling with each other they're for like it. like holding hands. Yeah, yeah, but then Guy starts thinking about everyone who would be laughing at him for losing, and that gives him just enough energy and strength to get the ring and then use it to banish Sinestro out of Jon Stewart and presumably to like hell or whatever. Why w <laughs> wait, why would the, the fear ring do that? Would, right. Wouldn't, uh, yeah, why is that an ability? Wouldn't you need a Green Lantern ring to do that? To, like... Nope. No, because no. Sinestro wielded no, the, because he's vulnerable to his own Well, originally power. Sinestro's ring was just a Quardian power weapon that didn't have the impurity that the Green Lantern ring did, so it's technically more powerful than the Green Lantern ring and didn't really get energized by fear. Right. But then when they retconned in that it was fear-based, they were like, oh yeah, well Guy Gardner was scary and scared all of his enemies, so it was really powerful because of Guy's ability to instill great fear. Uh, but before it was just a power before ring. Before it's just a power ring and it has that ability. So they were like, no, Guy Gardner can't beat up anybody else. He can't beat up Goldface, but he wins against Jon Stewart. Yes. Because... He wins against Sinestro possessed Jon Stewart. Jon Stewart plus Sinestro. Yes. Because, because we him. need that to happen. Yes. And so who cares about everything else we just established? Yes. Yes. Cool. So... The I'm glad that everyone hates Jon Stewart, apparently. <laughs> right? Is it Jon Stewart's body here? Oh, no, it just, it just gets rid of... Sinestro. Oh, well, uh, I don't see John Stewart a, It shows up later. It's a cleansing okay. fire. It's, yeah, it's yeah, cleansing. he's fine. He's fine. So then the Quardians are going to win. Yeah. And the Owens are like, well, we had a good run, I guess. I it's guess over. Man, I'm glad we banged those chicks before this happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and indeed they did in Millennium. <laughs> so the, the core is defeated. The, uh, the Guardians are, are, are peeing their pants mm -hmm. or their robes. And then... Guy Gardner comes out of the fucking pale blue sky, wielding all kinds of crazy awesome constructs, and proceeds to single-handedly defeat the Quardian army using one of their own weapons. Right. Uh, Lobo, of course, is like, boo, that's my weapon that you owe me. Yeah. And Guy's like, oh no, Lobo. Uh, you see, I hired you to take me to Quard, and we're not on Quard. We're but on Oa. But he did take him to Quard. <laughs> yes, yeah. but but uh, the thing that I wanted wasn't on Quard, so really so there was no reason for me anything. to. Yeah, and Lobo's like, "You do," and he's like, "Well, I'm leaving." So then Guy leaves, and Lobo's like, "Shit, what? That is not how deals work." Lobo just takes it. Right. Does like Lobo a bitch. ever like a bitch. punch him in the face? Oh yeah, yeah. no. Lobo constantly shows up. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so then, Guy you should just be like. Hey, Lobo, I know a guy who's made of gold. I could pay you in that. In that man. <laughs> okay, this is like not possible, but it looks like Guy Gardner's dabbing. Yeah, right? Yeah, it does. He might as well be like, thanks for the jacket, dipshit. So then he leaves, and then he slams into a Green Lantern brick wall made yeah. by Jon Stewart. And Jon's like, there is no way that we are going to let you leave with that ring. Yeah. So Guy Gardner 
just pants as Jon Stewart like a ninny and hits him with a Louisville Slugger hard light construct. Well, because he's got the yellow yeah. ring. Yeah, so. he's technically stronger than a Green Lantern, any this, Green Lantern. This book has successfully made me despise Guy Gardner. Gardner. No, he's awesome and a badass, and he's learned a valuable lesson about being a badass. So <laughs> Guy just humiliates Jon Stewart and the Guardians, and the Guardians are like, we're all really glad that Guy saved the day, but what have we unleashed? You didn't nothing. unleash You've anything. Nothing. Guy Gardner crafted a scenario by lying and being a moron. Yeah, yeah. Where Guy he Gardner could be the hero, not really. Yeah, Guy Gardner bumbles, lies, and steals his way into becoming a new superhero for the '90s. And then he basically f Superman flies up in front of the camera on the last page to say, "I'm Guy Gardner, and you got to deal with it." In his new awesome Guy Gardner costume which presumably is Lobo's leather jacket <laughs> with a big G on it. And so he steals and defaces Lobo's jacket. Yes. And he puts a ring on and he wears his boots and that's his costume. That's and his costume. And I love the fact that this is on the heels of him like losing it in a bet to Hal Jordan where he was just like, I'm a man of my word. It's like, no, until you're I'm not. not. Yeah, until it's inconvenient. But it was already, yeah, well, he's like, I immediately regret that decision. So do they produce a Guy Gardner series of books after yes. this? Yes. Yes, they Does launch a Does anybody read it? Yeah! I mean... And what, it, he's just an asshole through all, the whole thing? Yeah. So it's like kind of like Deadpool. Yeah, yeah only but... with like no fun. <laughs> but yes, it's basically Or like that. Lobo, where it's like... It's like Lobo. You're watching an it's, asshole it's, like... Yeah, it's, it's mean-spirited fun. You know fun. what it is, though? You yeah. know what the difference between Lobo and Deadpool is? There aren't other versions of them, necessarily, you know right. what I mean? Where it's just like, oh, this is what the Green Lantern should be. Right, there's no example of who Lobo should be. I mean, yeah. there are, because they're the Zarnians, but like, Lobo's also a parody book. Mm. Right. Well, this like is Gardner also a parody also book, but yeah. the Guy Gardner series is not. And Guy oh. Gardner does go through this in earnest. Like, this is a journey for that character, and allows him to become what he is. Wait, it the is Floronic a journey. What? I said, wait, the Floronic Man goes with them? Yeah, he's technically a new guardian. I forgot that he went with them. Oh, yeah. No, it's just that he doesn't get new powers. Right, 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 right. Guy Gardner is hilarious because he's like, oh, look, it's everyone's favorite superheroes, Circuit Board Man and Sexy Lady. Like, he doesn't remember their names uh, either. Well, we <laughs> great, so they're like, who funny. are you? Right, and you are? Guy Gardner, man. I'm, I'm a second, Green Lantern. Uh, second best Green Lantern? Where's your ring? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they took it away. <laughs> uh, you I, gave it up, you I, chump. I quit in a fit of rage. And, in a childlike fit and, of yeah, rage. Yeah, exactly. And then I asked in to a not tantrum. be fired anymore, and they laughed in my face. <laughs> <laughs> so then I tried to be a discount punisher, and I failed at that. And uh, oh. so I tricked Lobo into taking me. So, well, well, that then, hasn't happened yet. No, then I thought maybe I could lead you guys into becoming like a cool team. What, wh why, what from your history would make us think that that's a good idea? Well, just the fact that I'm more popular than you are. It's amongst who? The superhero community. And readers. <laughs> who, read what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the book is like weird and meta, but it's also frustrating yeah but that's that is, that, listen yeah. this engendered a lot of people to guy gardner really i think so he's so funny I, he's funny and like it's it's I mean, you're not supposed to take bit. it that seriously no no but like really. no it's it i don't like him but no i don't like him though. either and you know all this happens this did happen it's it did technically happen. part of his origin he did save oa single-handedly single from a calamity he created yes and banish Fucking Sinestro's Sinestro soul. soul from a from a possession which he created. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but he accomplished. Well, but those it could things. have happened any time. What if John Stewart was feeling melancholy and yeah, wanted to go into to go the... down and talk to I some feel dead like guardians? That was never yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. Well, of course. It well, was. apparently it never had happened before because if it had, that's what Sinestro would have done, right? Absolutely. So. So this is the first time anyone's gone into that crypt since they. Oh put yeah, no, Sinestro no one's supposed there. to really go into the crypt. You're not supposed oh, to go. Oh, I see. No one, I guess no one thought to because they're all like police. They're not going to like... Go to the morgue. Go to the place they're not supposed to go. The Guardians said we're not supposed to go there. Right. So the Guardians weren't afraid that someone would go there because they're like, well, no, they're, 
It's, there's only Green Lanterns live here. They do what we tell them to yeah. do. Well, exactly. They're, perfectly they're safe. adults, and yeah. we recommended they not go there, and they're like, all right. Yeah. yeah. Well, did you lock the door? No. Why would I do Why that? Would I do that? I, th we respect one another. Yeah. yeah we don't have locks. They, they, there's a sign that says you're not supposed to go in. Please don't go in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. I, I've got everywhere else I have that the universe. That really unsafe. You know, the, soul, the friggin' soul of Sinestro's down there. You could possess anyone that goes near yeah, his body. Know. As long as you don't go through that door, you're fine. Well, and Guy Gardner's like, nobody tells Guy Gardner what to do. <laughs> Kick door in. Oh no, the security system's <laughs> bypassed. Who could have seen this coming? He oh just, wait, we chose him. First he rips the sign down. He's like, yeah. no. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oh no, he's just saying for the security <laughs> thing. <laughs> There's nothing stopping him now. Quick send Gnort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, Gar, what's going on? How does Nort not show back up? I don't know. It's it's inexcusable. No, it's... It's, it's my favorite character in this entire book. It's so bizarre. Right? Everything about this I don't is understand. I, you know, I get it. I get it. Do you? No. It's everything afterwards is what I don't understand. Yeah, the first book I yeah, get. Yeah, it starts to be a joke, and, and then it's like, oh, of course he's going to fight Lobo, because Lobo is like the real version of what Guy is acting like. Yeah, yeah like, okay, all right. But and then, then it becomes a story. Yeah, then it's like, then it's yeah, like, yeah, but whoa, he's the, whoa. the protagonist and the hero. Well, it's not just that. It's whoa, like, whoa, 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 yeah, no, whoa, 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 Guy. What? Yeah. Well, yeah, we're creating an, an, an ongoing series for this character. Yeah, but he was a stupid butt monkey asshole in the first book. Yeah, it starts <laughs> off as like, ha ha. Isn't this funny? Into like, here is a character-changing moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He learns no, to but be he does a win, hardcore though. badass. But does he ever learn any other lesson? Yeah, ultimately he eventually learns his lessons. But like, you know, there. But with an edge to them, you know. Like he, uh -huh. he definitely is like, I do what's right, regardless of what anyone thinks. Just like Superman and stuff. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's this a, Guy Gardner Superman. knows from like right from wrong and how to impose that will. Oh. And he, and he let anybody get in his way. Right. He does what the other but, heroes are okay, afraid this to book do or some shit. Yeah. These books don't show that he knows right from wrong. No, it doesn't. No, they don't. No, they do not. Straight up, no. Like, he's <laughs> like, oh, don't kill people. I well, will lie, does, cheat, and thieve my way. But he does this. save right. Oa from the Quardians. Which he caused. That was never, like, that wouldn't have happened. They could have invaded anyway. That's true. They but, had the army ready to go. Yeah. They had a, 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 a blood feud But or there is no with, moment where Guy goes, you better play this right. Right. Yeah. He's just like, oh, he's okay. Just, he's delusional. He's yeah. just he like, delusional. no, I'm the hero. I right. did it. It's like he does suffer from like severe head trauma, so like he could be just insane, and that's what the, that's the adventure we're going on is with this mm. crazy person. And Nort. And Nort. I just I can't get over Nort. I can't get over <laughs> well, the I, look I of just, Nort. I can't I get past Nort. I have a really hard time getting how, past well, Nort. How, why is it that you you you're fine with Nort but not Chip? Chip's also kind of weird. Chip Who's is a chip? squirrel Green Lantern. Now, oh, now no, I thought you were going to call me out on why are you not okay with Nord, but you're okay with Dexstar. Because Dexstar has a tragic backstory. Yeah. Right. And, and Dexstar is more like a cat, though, than like... Who cat, can... Dexstar is a, is a cat. Yeah. yeah. Who's given a lantern. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Nort is some kind of alien dog. That's right. From but, the, and like, so is chip. Chip Hanna is a... Barbera universe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the worst cartoon universe. <laughs> So, I don't know if it's in trade, but you can find it in the description if so. But uh, otherwise, you can find it in dollar bins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, But don't discount the crop top. It's, Woo! You know, I'll be yeah. expecting to see this at New York Comic Con. Oh, yeah. I expect to see some Guy Gardner cosplaying with some sick ab action going on. <laughs> Just draw them on. It's fine. Yeah. But uh, Guy Gardner Reborn, bet you didn't expect this. I didn't. <laughs> Nobody expects Guy Gardner Reborn. That's right. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time on another episode. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Tiffany. Go along.